Uh, can you do a drum roll, please? I have a very weak drum roll, by the way. <laughs> you I'll should definitely do. work on we it. We have Dakpo Willis. Dakpo Willis here in the building. The Welcome. Thank you Thank very much. much. How's Welcome. it going? So, um, the, we have so many questions for you. Yeah, go on. Um, the WHO mandates okay. the campaign for 2019 okay. is regarding healthcare for all, everyone health in the world, okay. across the board, okay. regardless of you know, how it's going to be done. Yeah. Do you think it is possible? Well, uh, first of all, there are six billion people plus in the world. Uh, about seven. About We're about seven, seven billion. Yeah. And for you to try and cover seven billion people is going to require a lot of resources. Yeah. I think it's doable, but um, over a long period of time, okay. maybe as, especially the African What's coaching, your prediction? Uh, 2023? I don't think 2023. For what? The world or for Nigeria? For the world. Okay, I don't, the world. Maybe 2060. Nigeria's part of the world, right? Yeah, just yeah. for Nigeria. 2060, I don't tell you 2060. what. 2060. Yeah, just for Nigeria? Not for Nigeria, for the, for the entire for the world. world. Because Can I, we start at home? What, what would you predict? Oh, um, probably another maybe 15 years. 15 years? Yes. Oh, 15 years. Yeah, okay. 15 years because uh, the poverty be rate. Yeah, I'll be a dad. I mean, remember, <laughs> we, just, we just got announced out of the poverty capital. Yes, of yeah. the world. Of the yeah. world. So, you know, we actually went back instead of going forward. So right now, we're the poverty capital of the world. We need to sort that out first. You know, and you know, before we can even start thinking of sorting out uh, healthcare, so Very people, need, true. people need to eat. Okay, people, actually need to people eat. do need to eat, and that's actually the primary reason why you know I'm here today to you know basically educate people on how to eat. Okay, okay. on yeah. how to eat. Yes, yeah, how to eat, how to fend for themselves. So uh, okay. as I don't know if you guys are aware, I'm a digital marketing specialist. Yes, yes, you are. and. Um, we, my firm, we, we, we help companies grow their, their presence online, so, so on and so forth. Yes. And because social media is such an ever-growing industry, especially in Nigeria, as you, can see, as you can see, over the last 48 months, you know, the social media space has really taken off. And Nigerians are starting to embrace that. You know, as you can see, a lot of comedians are on social media now, yeah. actors, and, you know, just general talent. So, um, so how are you leveraging this for this health mandate? Uh, how am I leveraging for? Well, we we, ha we run a couple of campaigns on our uh, various social media social media pages that we have created, okay. you know. But you know, there's only so much that we can do just with you know social media and stuff like that. But what we actually do with okay. the social media platforms is we try and encourage the average youths that you can actually use social media to your own advantage, okay? Yes. Put your skills out there, whatever it, th it is you think you're good at, okay? So you guys are good at you know, broadcasting mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yes. You can do more of um, speaking in front of the camera and stuff like that. So whatever it is you're doing. So I was at Jack on the Art Market uh, two weeks ago, okay. and I tell you, the, the, the quality of artwork there is just, phenomenal. Just, just by the way, yeah. have you considered politics? Have I considered Because politics? the way you're working these words, oh my days. and you're He's working the He's a public speaker camera. also, right? Yeah. Um, so do you your public do we have politics is, is in epic. view? Well, probably. Well, it's it depends epic. on how uh, the current administration handles things. If they don't, if they mess up this time around, I might have to take them. <laughs> <your money. laughs> take it from them, right? But I, 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 Dako Willis has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how they go about it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so yeah. I have this question, right? Yeah, sure. You being a digital specialist, yeah. right? I'm sure over the years you've had to monitor the rise Hold and on. increase Hold in. Hold on. He's a specialist. How are you a specialist? How long have you been? In so this? I've been doing it since I was 17. Since you were 17, yeah. and now you are 20. 20. I'm going to be 25 oh, in a few days. You're going to be 25. So, yeah. young and getting he it. I is love it. a specialist. Back yeah. to my question. <laughs> young and getting <laughs> it. Anyway, yeah, sure. so you've obviously um, monitored the rise in so, so, social media, yeah. right? And th the speed at which it rises, it's alarming. Mm. And considering the fact that you have to pay money, actual mm. money, every time you want to actually be online. And people mm. are actually devoted to doing that. Yeah. I mean, there are people that say they don't have money to eat, mm. but come on social media to actually ask people for money right there. But the <laughs> same money they use. Do you understand? The there is yeah. that part. Yeah. We had someone talking about health insurance. Yeah. Talking about the fact that you can actually go for as long as low as two thousand naira, basically your subscription yeah. for the month yeah. for healthcare. Yeah. Why uh, do you 2K think two k a month? Yeah. That's what he actually yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think people would rather put their money yeah. in social media, yeah. in being like I mean, just watching people live their lives yeah. and doing instead of doing put in somewhere else that will actually benefit them, like something as serious as health. Stuff. Okay, so. Um, Entertainment versus health. You see, mm -hmm. people, they, they need to first of all eat before they even think about, you know, 
healthcare the way we're talking about. You see, we we're, we're, we're elitists to a certain extent. So yes. we are concerned about our well, the kind of food we eat, where we sit, you know, um, the kind of water we drink. A lot of people out there, whatever it is they can get, they just eat and they just drink. So they're not really concerned about their health. So if you tell I like them to how you said we, but go yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> so if you tell them to put money That's towards amazing. that, they, they wouldn't really buy that. But when you when they buy data and they have and they see you know, they're able to watch their favorite celebrity and all that. It makes them happy to a certain, it gives them that instant dopamine. You know, Instagram is pretty much very addictive. Yeah. yeah so once you have it, it's like, an, it's like a- It's like dopamine. In, exactly. In your, so the, and you know, social media addiction I is think, a health issue And I think that is well. It's a health issue as it's well. It's also okay. a health issue. It's also, yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to drive at something here. If you guys just let me for a little bit. Okay. Yeah? okay. So what I want people to actually do is instead of paying data, paying, paying for data to go on, your favorite celebrities page to watch them live their lives. I think you should pay for data to put your skills out there. Okay? So there's this new thing um, I'm trying to encourage. It's called social media marketing. Anybody can learn how to be a social media marketer. Literally, the undergraduate who has no money, who has no job, you have 2,000 naira to pay for data. Why don't you go on YouTube and type, how do I become a social media marketing um, manager? Okay? You're a businessman. You probably don't have time to handle your business pages, okay? I'm sure you don't mind paying somebody 40, 50K. Please take this and make sure it is constantly being run, okay? A lot of small businesses are opening up because they feel, obviously, Instagram is the way forward. Everybody wants their business on Instagram now. But they don't really have the time to run it. True. You know what I mean? In my own house, I have two aunties who have, you know, businesses and all that. Trust me, they will do anything to get somebody to help yeah, them run their social media. So instead of paying 2K to troll a celebrity, why don't you pay 2K mm -hmm. to learn a skill that will bring, you know, bring back money? So that's, oh. that's pretty much okay, the initiative. Okay, so we're yeah. talking healthcare okay. today. Yeah, so how on. do you think the digital world yeah. and the digital space can help improve healthcare globally? Okay, pretty much is, we as digital um, consultants, we use our platforms to pretty much create awareness, okay? So that's pretty much the best we can do. We can use it to create awareness so that it gets in front of the right people. So the more we push it, the more bigger mediums, like obviously STV is talking about it now, CNN and the likes of that start speaking about it. And once people like that start speaking about it, the world leaders now actually start realizing that this is a real problem. And we actually, exactly, we in Nigeria actually need to take our mobile phones and record the real life health issues in this country. You know, now they start, they start, pay, they start paying attention to Nigerian social media. When they start seeing people are actually dying because of poor healthcare infrastructure, trust me, these people will start, you know, making I a, think a positive if you ask me, this. right, I think we actually see a lot of deaths yeah. already. We have yeah. a lot of deaths out there. Especially I with the recent <laughs> situation in Zampara State. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. Up and I also think in my comical mind, what I think of the fact that, you know how people put their lives out there, very detailed. Oh, I'm mm. going, I'm at this restaurant, <laughs> chilling. They, th they make certain things look cool. Yeah. So people believe that is what they want to watch. Well, mm. How about making healthcare look cool? I mean, I would love to be able to sl snap my cells, yeah. probably jumping or something, <laughs> or my ovaries or my eggs, like in a okay, let's go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Cool. Anytime. <laughs> no worries. Um, I totally. No, seriously. Yeah. But do you understand what I'm trying to 100%. say? One hundred percent. It's all about the mind. It's all yeah. about what they understand yeah. by it. So it, we. I honestly. Would, let's try. And make, you're basically trying to say we should try and make it look cool. Yes. So or that make it. No, make people understand the importance. As you said, yeah. like. Social We're media is all like the a wrong high. Things look cool. We should, yes. exactly. we should reinvent what exactly. means. Exactly. Like Social media is like a high. Why? Yeah. Because people believe, oh, fine, this is what everybody's on now. Yeah. Make healthcare. I, I'm person to me. Yeah. Healthcare for me is, is a high. Yeah, exactly. If I can wake up in the morning and I, I have my water, I have my fruits, I have my yeah. vegetables, I have my protein on check, yeah. I'm good to so go. Well, like, you can take my phone for like, I don't really care. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Make people yeah. understand. And I think it's all about enlighten yeah. enlightenment, about yeah. the whole lifestyle it. shifts. You know, exactly. people jogging every morning. Well, the thing, is, the thing I, is, I, I, would, I had a visit to Dakar um, yeah. some time, a few years ago, yeah. and they have a good jogging culture. Like, literally, mm. you'd see hundreds of people, people on the beach yeah. jogging together. Jogging. We yeah. need more cultures like that yeah, here definitely. in Nigeria. But um, yeah. cultures like that, those are the types of things we need in Lagos. Imagine, uh, like, the but on the Lekki Ikori bridge. bridge, I see a lot of people jogging on it. But you see, the average Nigerian isn't really interested. That's the problem. Like they are. At a point, Fit Farm is yeah. beco beginning to become it's becoming cool. a Do thing. you understand? Because Fit Farm yeah. is becoming a thing, yeah. like I say again, amongst the elitist. Ah, uh, okay. There's, there's, there's a disconnect. There's a people need to, people, people never chow. 
Do you understand? Yeah. The people haven't eaten. Yes. Yeah. First of all, we need to eradicate that issue. People yes, need to first of definitely. all eat before they can even start thinking about their health. Do you okay, understand what so I'm saying? We'll, do you see we'll the angle? Hold on to that. Do you see that angle? Message of the day. Yeah. People have to eat. Can you say that again? People have to eat. People have to chow before they start thinking of healthcare. People but healthcare is also very important. The, no, the healthcare is very, very important. Is, is very that important. our message of the day? No, 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 it's, no it's not. No, that's fine. I th <laughs> our message of the day is stay healthy. healthy. Make yeah. sure healthy. you stay healthy. Yeah. Uh, focus on your health. It's very important.